And it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. And it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. And if the family of Egypt go not up, and come not, that have no rain, there shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. This shall be the punishment of Egypt, and the punishment of all nations that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. In that day shall there be upon the bells of the horses holiness unto the Lord, and the pots in the Lord's house shall be like the bowls before the altar, yea, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts, and all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them, and seethe therein, and in that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts. Zechariah 12 and 1 The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel saith the Lord which stretches forth the heavens and layeth the foundations of the earth and formeth the spirit of man within him. Behold I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all people round about. Why? Because the Lord is going to magnify his elect. They're shaking in their boots right now. Because they see in this great spiritual army of the Lord being raised up. And all we're doing is teaching. Reading the Bible. And they get nervous. So just imagine when the Lord give us power. When they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And right now we are in a siege. The world is in a siege. By these demonic international banking families. It says, And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces. This is dealing with the land, true. But it's really dealing with the people. Because they're going to get jacked up. Though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. In that day, saith the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness. And I will open mine eyes upon the house of Judah and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. Right. So they're not going to be able to come against anything that we do. The Lord is going to cut them off. Let's talk about the people that come against Jake. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. There's nothing that they're going to be able to do. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength, and the Lord of hosts their power. Why? Because the Lord is bringing back the two houses together. The house of Judah and the house of Jerusalem. The southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. The tabernacles of David. And the Lord our power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, that's going to be our power. In that day will I make the governors of Judah like an hearth of fire among the wood. And what does a hearth of fire do among the wood? It kindles in it. <laughs> you know, High Priest Zaria used to get into it. It kindles. It says, and like a torch of fire in a sheaf. Right, and you can read about this also in Obadiah. How the tribes are going to get together and it's going to be an Edomite roast, man.